Godzilla King of the Monsters has smashed its way into theatres, and with it, the reveals from the trailers are finally here. One such reveal is the other numerous titans that were teased to appear. Although they had limited screen time, this opens up and expands the lore of the Monsterverse just that bit further. And today, I want to explore the titan known as Scylla, or also dubbed Titanus Scylla which was perhaps the most prominently featured original MonsterVerse Titan in the trailers. However, not so prominently featured in the latest film. Titanus Scylla. As the movie is looking to build off of real world legends, religions and folklore, the Scylla name is likely a reference point to ancient Greek myth, which tells tale of an ancient female sea monster called Scylla a giant sea monster that was the daughter to Typhon, which, with respect to Monarch's file on the Titan, shown at the end of the film, the ancient Greeks did indeed name this Titan. Now we can see Titanus Scylla is modelled closely off of a giant spider, or arachnid of some description. However, it's the face that appears to be more aquatic in nature, almost that of a squid, or, to reference Lovecraft, Cthulhu-esque, which gives more relevance to the aforementioned theory on the name, and indeed, this titan stemming from ancient Greek myth and legend. The other, and equally as likely explanation, is the name could be a derivative of Spiga, or Nusilla. Both are giant spider-like creatures in other monster kaiju franchises. Now, although she featured to a limited degree in the movie, Titanus Scylla is actually expanded upon further in the movie's end credits. This is where we in fact glean the most of our information about this great beast. The end credits explain that actually the Titan is known to the ancient Greeks and is the inspiration behind their legend, their myth, their ancient religion. However, Interestingly enough, Scylla isn't based in Greece within the movie. Titanus Scylla was seen breaking containment in Arizona, underneath the Sedona oil rigs in an oil field. And this is exactly how we see her breaking free from the earth, with monarch trucks attempting to escape the monstrous creature. Scylla is a massive arachnid-based titan, having strong similarities to that of a spider crab from its legs. However, its face is most definitely Cthulhu or squid-like. The coloration of Scylla is black in nature, which judging by where she was in hibernation could simply be due to the oil surrounding her. However, if this is her natural habitat, say in oil pits waiting for prey, this may actually be an evolutionary trait. Either is as good a theory as the other at this point in time with the limited information we have. As demonstrated by her breach of the oil field and the desert that houses the oil field, Scylla's legs are strong enough and sharp enough to pierce and break through solid rock with relative ease. The legs are shaped in a way which, in theory, make them a fantastic offensive and defensive tool for the Titan. Long, almost armoured, two joints and a claw each with various spikes running along them. Now previously mentioned, the head of Scylla is perhaps the most distinguishing feature, not like a spider at all, and it bears more similarities with that of a squid. She does in fact have two eyes, not eight, and her face has various tentacles running down it, coming down towards what can be assumed to be her mouth. Titanus Scylla takes after her Greek origin though, and as much as she was based in Arizona, it's highly likely this was due to a form of migration, as Scylla is indeed an aquatic-based titan. She can thrive and live underwater for long periods of time. From what we could see of this titan in the film, Scylla is a very slow-moving titan, though this is of course relative to her size. She does have the ability to have a greater range of control over her individual legs, and again, this enables her to have a greater offensive and defensive use for them. 
So in universe, the history of the creature is fairly unknown. It is presumed, however, that she was contained, monitored and studied in the Monarch Outpost 55 within Arizona. We know this to be a strong possibility as we saw Monarch trucks fleeing the scene. This is certainly a creature that they were aware of and attempting to contain. Titanus Scylla, much like the other Titans, wakes up from her slumber and hibernation due to King Ghidorah's call to arms, the new Alpha Predator. Titanus Scylla is influenced by Ghidorah's call to hunt, to destroy, to decimate, moving as a pack and on the prowl. Now, within the novelization for Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Scylla is not expanded upon to a great deal. However, the end scene, where we see her rise and bow, is described as the following. Rodan was back, along with a horror on eight long, spidery legs. Now, the novelization, as a bit of trivia, describes her as having eight legs, which is presumed to have been the original plan. However, in the film, the Titan we get to see only has six. Titanus Scylla. Although a destructive Titan under Ghidorah's call, Scylla is later seen doing good. Once Godzilla is crowned the king of the monsters, Scylla bows, following Rodan's stead, and later, in the end credits, we learn of new reports released by Monarch, which actually tells tale of Scylla now residing in a lake attempting to slow the ice caps melting. It is clear from this that Scylla was merely acting under King Ghidorah's call to arms and generally isn't a destructive titan when left to her own devices. And from here, it does make me wonder what her relationship was with the ancient Greeks. Was she a protector? Did she protect the ancient Greeks from other titans within the area? Would she reside within the seas, perhaps her face being mistaken for that of the Kraken? And potentially, due to her aquatic nature, does this also give credence to the fact that she may be the inspiration for the Greek Kraken myth? If you have your own thoughts and theories on her relationship to the ancient Greeks and how she inspired and shaped myth and legend, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, if you are enjoying this explained video, please do hit that like button as it really does help the channel out and hit subscribe. Now, as an Easter egg for those large Godzilla fans, Scylla, rising from Arizona, is most definitely a reference to her Toho counterpart, Kimonga, attacking Arizona, of course, in Godzilla Final Wars. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Titanus Scylla Explained. Is this an addition to the MonsterVerse that you personally liked, or did you find the design lacking? For the most part, personally, I really liked the design. I will say, however, that the cross between Spider Crab and Arachnid was very much on the nose as being a reference to previous Toho Kaiju, more specifically, Kumonga. I feel really genuinely that Legendary have done a really good job with some of the original Titans they've created for the MonsterVerse. And as such, due to this, I really wish they had continued that originality into this design. But that said, she really is an interesting design all the same. It's just a shame that it follows in very, very similar footsteps as other monster franchises. Anyway, and as always, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and please do share it. I tried to make this again, just like my Behemoth video, the most comprehensive explained video on the internet that you can possibly find for Titanus Scylla. Hopefully including some thoughts and theories and reference points to our real world inspiration to round this video out as best as possible. So if you do think that it really is the most comprehensive, then Hey, hit that like button. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.